Serious. Hey, YouTube, Maddie's A12, Team JMT, here with Amanda Ochoa. Hi. We are, we're still at the PokeCon uh, in Louisville. She's actually from my uh, locals, uh, but she played in the Card Fight Vanguard tournament here and got second place. So we're going to get a random Card Fight Vanguard deck profile. Because all of you should play Vanguard, because it's cheaper than you get and more fun. It's more fun. All right, let's check this out. All right, um, so here's my starter. I play MLB, or Magic Lord Blaster. Um, Wingall Brave is the only good starter for Royal Paladins right now. Um, my trigger lineup's pretty simple. Um, I play eight critical triggers, four draws, and four heals. Um, I play the two different copies of draws just so it fools my opponent into thinking that I play eight draw instead of just four. Um, but these guys do basically the exact same thing. Yeah, these two do the exact same thing. Their triggers, um, he has an effect, but I hardly ever use it. But okay. the draw triggers do the same thing. They're just there. It's just there to fool them. So when they see this and then they see that, um, they um, they're like, oh, well, maybe she plays eight, you know, yeah. whatever. Um, pretty standard, really. Uh, grade ones. I play four Marin, AK booster, just plain simple. I play 4K. K is something that a lot of people don't like to play 4 of, but I play 4 of him because late game, if I draw him, he's good to attack with. Because when you is when you attack with him, he gains plus 3 when he attacks, so he's a 10. And I play 2 Toy Pungal. Um, he's broken with Palamedes because Palamedes gains plus 3 when you when you have two or more grade threes, and when you have two or more grade threes with Toy Pungle, he gains plus three too. So that column is plus six thousand automatically. And I play one Sharon. He's technically a Shadow Paladin. Um, this is a Royal Paladin deck, but I needed another AK booster, and I'm allowed to play up to sixteen. So sixteen Shadow Paladin because it's a mixed he just, deck. He fits that spot. Yeah, he fits that spot. It's a mixed deck, and it's the only real mixed deck allowed in Vanguard other than Kage Royals. My last grade grade one is my Perfect Guard. And I'll always say this, four perfect guards is a staple. I mean, you have to play four perfect guards, especially in this meta where you have to worry about cross rods and break rods. Um, grade twos is really simple. Four 10K vanillas, four blaster dark, and four blaster blade. Um, I don't play star call trumpeter, who is a searcher for a blaster. I don't need it. I have them in my hand almost all the time. It seems completely pointless to play that many searchers. Um, besides, if I ever get locked, I always get locked not having one of those, but I always have MLB. I never seem to have an issue when not having MLB. Okay. Um, and then the grade three lineup is super simple. Three Master Lore Blaster and three Palamedes and a pretty one zones SP. <laughs> so it's a pretty rarity. Yeah, those um, guys look cool. Yeah. He's he's the one that everybody hates. No one hates Magic Lord Blaster. They hate him because he has the effect of putting Blaster Dark and Blaster Blade into the soul and gaining plus 10,000 and an extra damage, which is not what people hate because they'll perfect guard that so they don't take any damage, but then I drive track two criticals and it all goes on him and that becomes 23 by himself. Oh, really? So he's really good, plus the two damage. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, he's, seriously significant. Yeah, he is the dumb one. He's the one that everybody will try to kill. I don't ever shield when I when people attack my Vanguard. I save my shields for him. Okay. And that's basically it. Um, this, I took this deck to a team the team tournament for Vanguard. Um, we didn't do very good. We got fifth place, but I went three and one that day, so I was pretty happy with it. And I haven't made any changes since then. It's my best deck. All right. Uh, congratulations, Amanda, on making uh, or winning. Second place, there you Second go. Place. Second place. Yeah. In the Vanguard tournament here at the Pokey Con. Uh, and then you are also connected with another con. What's that? Yes, I'm connected with Evil Con. It's a convention in Evansville, Indiana. Evansville, Indiana. When is that happening? That is happening next year, March 28th through the 30th. Um, it's happening at the Clarion Inn Hotel. It's off Highway 41 in Evansville. Um, it'll blast from, I think it's, I think we've decided on noon on Fridays when registration opens, and then we go all the way till Sunday at like 6. All right. Now, last year, I missed out on the chance to make some videos to help you guys out. So, don't let me forget this time. Okay. Make sure that I help yeah. you guys out and make some videos for that. We will make more videos for EvilCon, and I'll make sure I tell Jason whenever we get the guests <laughs> announced. So All I can right. know about voice actors and stuff. Yes. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe, comment down below, and show us how much you love us.